But we begin tonight with growing outrage and a renewed plea to protect students from sexual predators at Eastern Michigan University. Good evening and welcome to Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Allegations of sexual assault on campus continue to come in, some as recently as last month. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette has been digging for answers for months as both criminal investigations and lawsuits have emerged since the middle of last year. Simon now shows us two fraternities being placed under review and explains why some students say it's not enough to keep them safe. Dozens of women have already come forward alleging sexual assault here at Eastern Michigan University and as police continue their investigations, many are now asking why two fraternities under review remain open. On the campus of Eastern Michigan University, another public outcry from students and other supporters of alleged victims of sexual assault. This group marching to say the university's response continues to fall short after two more alleged sexual assaults in late August involving the same victim. The school didn't like really take it seriously and it worries me a lot because like what if that happened to me? Freshman Jayla Phillips has closely watched troubling claims unfolding for months as lawsuits have rolled in and criminal charges have been filed. She says badly needed accountability is still absent. My biggest concern is that people won't listen to the victims. In part of a new statement from EMU's university president, he says, quote, the university has initiated a review into complaints by individuals and organizations made against two fraternities, Delta Tau Delta and Alpha Sigma Phi. This process includes an evaluation of the fraternity's future status on our campus. The university takes this process very seriously. It goes on to say EMU's campus is a safe place, but not according to sophomore Amira Burton, who asks why Delta Tau Delta and Alpha Sigma Phi are allowed to keep throwing parties during their reviews of complaints. And why did those reviews only start within the last few weeks? I feel like it should have happened sooner. Should those fraternity houses still be allowed to throw parties in the meantime? No, I feel like everything that they do should be held on pause. Attorney Todd Flood represents dozens of alleged victims. The facts when they come out, it will bear the common denominator of alcohol being served and at a frat. It's unconscionable that they weren't suspended last year. It's unconscionable that they were allowed to open up this year. Law enforcement has exposed this actual common scheme and plan, this actual rape uh, epidemic going on. University spokesman Walter Kraft not confirming the most recent alleged sex assaults had a connection to fraternity houses, instead only mentioning reports both on and off campus. That's despite Ypsilanti police telling us they are investigating a claim of a late August sex assault at a fraternity house. These fraternities are still open during this review. Why not pause the activities in the meantime? The fraternities that are in question, they know they're under review. They know that they're under a microscope right now. They are not inclined to hold events, to hold parties. Are you currently looking at a possible connection between any fraternities and this most recent incident? No. That's poppycock. It happened with a student, with students. It happened with Greek organization for which they're in control of. In response to our inquiries, we have received statements from both fraternities, Delta Tau Delta, telling us that they have to decline comments, citing pending litigation, and a spokesperson for Alpha Sigma Phi telling us to their knowledge they remain in good standing and they've not been made aware by the university of any ongoing review. In addition, on our website, WXYZ.com, you'll find a list of the safety initiatives and improvements here on campus at EMU. From Ypsilanti, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, we'll certainly stay on top of that story for you.